Soldier Nation, Steve Cook here. We are at bodybuilding.com. Thank you for this whiteboard. Tonight, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm giddy, I can't even stand still. I'm excited because chest day. Now chest is one of those body parts everyone loves to train, but how many people are actually doing it right? It's just one of those body parts everyone wants. You know, you ask someone how strong they are, what do you usually ask, how much you bench press? Unfortunately, that's something that gets us into trouble. So there's a lot of misconceptions about chest, uh, but it's one of those things that's a powerful muscle group. Today is all about weak area chest workout. Stepping foot into the weight room, you need to visualize. Visualization is the key word when talking about bodybuilding in general, because you, not anyone else, you have to know the body you want, not your girlfriend, not your wife, not your parents, not your kids, no one but you is in charge of your physique. So here I am talking to you about what I see my weakness and most people's weakness. So, you know, going into a gym, you'll notice a lot of guys on chest day doing what? Monday, it's hard to get on a bench press machine. Why? I'm not quite sure. Obviously bench press is, it's an ego thing. Like I said, you ask someone what they bench because you want to know how strong they are. That's why today, is all about training the upper pec, the outer pec, and then rib cage. Now, what I mean by rib cage is your pecs are set up on your rib cage. You know, you're not gonna change your genetic structure, you're not gonna change the insertions and everything, but cartilage, um, heavy compound exercises, and dumbbell pullovers done properly will lend, I think, to a larger expanded rib cage, which then sets up for a, a greater pec. My weakness has always been my chest, even though I've been strong on it. So this is a perfect example. Me being a guy that, you know, in college I benched 440, but I didn't necessarily have a big round full chest and it's because I wasn't balanced. So right off the bat, boom, boom, visualize and balance. Those are two words. So the visualization process comes before you even step foot in the gym. Every day, you should know what you're training, what you need to work on. You should be taking progress pictures. A progress picture allows you to go back, you know, weeks after weeks, even months and even years. I have progress manuals and progress pictures and training booklets from five, six, seven years ago that I look back and I can look where, you know, I thought I needed to make improvements. And then I chart out exactly what I want to do. And that starts with visualizing how I want my body to look in a month. Mind muscle connection is what it's all about. So, you know the drill. We're going to go do a little bit of warm up, some mobility, some dynamic stretching, get that heart rate up, work some shoulders, work some uh, secondary muscle groups in order just to get warmed up enough to hop on. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go incline press. Gum goes in.
All right, here's what we're targeting today. This outer part, that upper part, let's go. Concentrate on the chest. Go down, stretch, full range of motion. That was quite heavy enough, but it was a good feel set. Get a black mat, find a T-bar row. I was pretty happy when I saw that they had this. It just takes away your breath when you drop it there. I can't breathe. Two. Just because that little voice in the back of my head is telling me to go a little bit harder. I'm gonna jump up right now without resting. Just do as many as I can without stopping. Once you stop, once you give in, you're done. Oh man, just wanna, sometimes you wanna get on the ground and just, wanna bend over like this, don't do it. You know, don't sit, keep your hands up, hold that head up high. Solid work today. Only easy day was yesterday though. Remember that, so tomorrow, we won't rest on what we did today. We come back in and we attack the next workout. And there's no excuses. You know, there's always gonna be times you don't feel motivated, you don't feel like working out. But why did you start out in the first place? Why did you first step foot in the gym? What did you want to be in life? What did you want to see yourself transform and become? And when you feel like don't going, when you feel like staying home, watching TV, or that you know life's been too hard, you know, there's too many average people out there that uh, you know make every excuse in the book. We need more people that uh, are gonna be doers and just get things done. So use 
the reasons you first got into the gym to keep you going. When progress feels like it's not coming fast enough, when there's stress, work, relationships, other obligations, let that motivation take hold and grow inside and become something that you can't live with yourself if you don't come and work out. Because by doing this hour and 15 minutes, you are giving back to yourself so much more by the flood of hormones that get released, the endorphins. We're not meant to be stressed out creatures inside a box all day, at a computer all day, on your cell phone all day, all in your car all day. We're meant to get outside, to get moving, to sweat, to push yourself, to feel like this is tough. That's what the human body was designed to do. That was chest training. Weak point area, whether it's your mind or your chest, you train it, you attack it, and you get better at it every day. We did a uh, new bodybuilding.com video today. Shot for nine or 10 hours. Definitely feel like didn't, you know, didn't want to come, but shit, I'm glad I did right now. So uh, we're gonna finish off. I'm gonna do a couple more sets of abs. Hop up there, I'm gonna do some knee raises, um, some broomstick twist, then I'm done. I did enough cardio today. Um, but anyhow, look yourself in the mirror tonight. Right now, after this video, look yourself in the damn mirror and ask yourself, do you like what you see? Do you like who you see? If you don't, do something about it. We're all in this together. Soldier Nation, Steve Cook, I'm out.